Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Warning. Uh, another depressing movie about the end of the world, starring Thomas Jane as an astronaut. Let's see if I can find his... There he is. Thomas Jane is an old school astronaut. Has a very old uniform. Anyhow, he goes up to fix a satellite and then gets trapped out there and then the world's ending because some meteors are happening and I guess the meteor passed by and then there's some more future scientific stuff where you can swap bodies there's a lot going on in this movie like way too much uh, smash like and subscribe thank you for smash liking and subscribing please check out my books links in the description um, it's all available at amazon.com uh, some of you have been supporting the channel. Thank you so much for buying the pineys. Little Joan got her treat in the other video. And she'll be getting more later as soon as I get the treats. I, I ordered more treats. I'm out of treats. So don't tell Joan. Um, but yeah, this is a weird mix of future stuff. And then people have this thing, which they refer to as God. And then it asks God, like, how many sins I've committed. I mean... What the heck? There's like way too many elements in this movie. <laughs> Patrick Schwarzenegger's in it. Uh, I believe that's Arnold's son. And Thomas Jane. Uh, Rupert Effort. I recognize that name. Rest Alice Eve. That sounds familiar. Um, so the meteors are coming. The world's ending. There's an astronaut uh, trapped in space. There's future stuff. There's people swapping bodies, there's a gadget that they call God, and then people are all going to die, and they're counting down how long it takes for them to die. It's called Warning. The countdown begins October 22nd. I don't... Who the hell wants to see a movie about the world ending? I, I guess it does end in this. It sounds... You know, it's got the depressing music, like with the piano. Dum, 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 dum. We're all going to die. Uh, written by Agatha Alexander, Rob Michelson, and Jason Kay. It took three people to write this movie. Directed by Agatha Alexander, Sybil Lou Epic. And Sybil Lou Epic. Okay, so Agatha, if, you're, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, co-wrote it with two other people and then co-directed it with another person. It sounds like too many people. I'm just going to come out and say it. It sounds like too many people. In association with Studio Mao, what the hell kind of studio is that? Seems like a depressing movie I don't want to see. But I'll do a breakdown, I guess. First act, everything's fine and dandy. Thomas Jane is fixing a satellite. And then some meteors come and he warns everybody. And then it's a big newscast that, oh, this astronaut's trapped in space and oh by the way meteors are coming and it's going to kill everybody on earth okay and then we have a million stories of people in their daily lives dying and oh by the way here's some future technology thrown in uh you know this guy here he's like a part robot or whatever and you could live forever and then this woman's thing on the dash i too many elements. Second act is going to be a million stories, and then third act, the world ends, I guess. Maybe some people survive. I don't know. I'm not going to see this movie. It looks... It just looks too convoluted. There's just too many elements. Look, a, a story about the world ending doesn't need all this future stuff. And in fact, <laughs> you know, if you have all this future stuff, don't you have anything to stop the meteors from hitting the Earth? I, I, I guess not. And and, you know, where, you know, I'm seeing more and more movies, and I'm wondering, where are the masks? Where's all the corona stuff? Right? It's not incorporated in the movies. So, you know, does it exist in any of these worlds? Are we in a corona-free world at the end? There you are. That's See, that looked like an astronaut suit. Thomas Jane was wearing something that looked like it was from the 60s. Very confused about this movie. Is it, I don't think it's based on a book. Maybe. I mean, it's got way too much stuff in it. It's just got way too much. That's a problem in screenplays. So you got too much, just cut it. you got to know what the screenplay's about. If this is about the world ending and people coming to peace with their god or whatever, you all you need is a meteor. That's it. That's it. You don't need all this magical nonsense, uh, futuristic stuff. And if it's about that, well, then you don't need the meteor. You know? 
uh, I guess you could say, well, it's ironic. We have all this technology and yet the world's ending. Yeah, but if you're going to go that route, why don't you really push it and give us a lot of... I mean, why does Thomas Jane look like a look like a hobo in space? He, he, he doesn't look... He doesn't look like this guy. Is this guy coming to save him? What? I don't know. There's a lot of characters here. None of them are explained other than Thomas Jane. Uh, uh, fail. I, I, this is a trailer fail, in my view. Just my view. Okay. So that's it. That's warning. I don't know when it comes out. Let's see if there was a date here. No. No date. So I assume this winter, if you'd like to be depressed... <laughs> I guess seek this movie out. All right, let's check the next one.